At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Sri Lanka's plans to achieve the status of a high-income economy in the next two decades, the rapid economic development required to achieve this goal depends on innovation and the promotion of science and technology. Therefore, the Ministry of Science, Technology and Research has the lead role to ensure and establish a strong science and technology base in Sri Lanka, as, as well as to mobilize the expertise, both foreign and local, needed to prepare this plan. Sri Lanka is turning to Vice President of OIST, who worked hard towards this establishment, is here to share this experience with us today. The Ministry of National Policy and Economic Affairs, together with the Ministry of Science, Technology and Research, will prepare proposals for a Central Institute of Science and Technology following the example I have referred to in my speech. Our universities and research centers will have the opportunity of being affiliated with the CIST. Furthermore, our national policy is based on the expansion of science and technology education in the school system and the universities. The strengthening of research development of private and public sectors. This calls for a more science and technology teachers and academics. The concerned ministries are now addressing their minds to preparing a report as a first step. The quality of our science and technology development will ultimately depend how successfully we can broad-base these endeavors. I notice that you have citizen science in your program of discussion and welcome its inclusion. We need to have the same level of enthusiasm that a music concert, a cricket match, or the Gaul Literary Festival generates among the public in the field of science too. A National Science Centre initiative with spectacular outreach even to the remotest parts of Sri Lanka is needed to engage our citizens in science, to foster young minds in our schools, and to advise on how our pedagogy might be reformed. The revision of science curric uh, curriculum in our schools and the improvement to their laboratories are called for, and, and Open Science in Initiative, which partners with the international community, is called for in this era, where globally significant issues of the kind I have mentioned earlier need to be addressed urgently with creative local enterprise. The government, headed by His Excellency President Maitripala Sirisena, is an inclusive one. We have forged an alliance among our two political parties, the largest political parties in the country to serve all the peoples of Sri Lanka. This is also chemistry. Concommitment to this, it is important that our economy grows at a steady pace over the next decade. We are laying the foundations for a science and technology-led drive to enter the global value chain, making Sri Lanka the dynamic hub of the Indian Ocean as it was in times past along the Maritime Silk Road. I would like to share with you five priority areas we have identified in this regard. Namely, one, advanced STI in agriculture, forestry and fisheries. Two, STI-driven manufacturing and service industries. Three, quality next generation infrastructure and regional development. Four, global freight, logistic and tourism through our international ports and airports. And five, civil safety on land, sea and in the air, including disaster risk reduction and vastly improved hydrology management. I hope your discussion at the forum will shed light on how science and technology can help us achieve these ends and inspire Sri Lankan entrepreneurs and industrialists to invest in science. I earnestly hope that your engagement in this forum will lead to collaborative endeavors and lasting friendships beyond our borders, mobilize your collective wisdom to overcome pressing challenges and help steer our country along a path that future generations can profoundly walk along. In this context, I am extremely grateful to the government of Japan. I thank the governments of Japan, the UK, 
and the Federal Republic of Germany, among others, for sponsoring large delegations of stellar scientists to inspire, inspire us here in Sri Lanka. May I request your continued support to nourish and nurture our own community of scientists in universities and research institutions, as well as the would-be scientists in our schools.